Good evening, this is Nick Inman from VolumeProfileTrader.com on Monday, February 6th, and the market continues to slowly make its way higher. And the only thing I'm concerned about with this market at current levels is after a nice move higher, a small pullback, and then a continuation. Not only that, but then a, a heavy, you know, one day pop. The potential for a pullback back to these levels can increase and uh, we can see some type you know, of pullback in the market. It reminds me of last year and I'm just going to bring it up. We had a nice rally. I'm going to zoom in in one second. And then we had a blow off top. We had one we had you know one strong day and then a follow through and then we started a pullback which ended up still going higher but we we did end up having a pullback and you don't necessarily want to be holding a lot in that pullback if it happens so if if we take this same idea you know steady uptrend here I'll, I'll zoom in over this way so you can see it a little better steady uptrend and then a pop up if I zoom over here what do we have steady uptrend this had a little bit of a pullback and then we had a pop up so if this pullback was the pullback then perhaps we just continue moving higher but you know nevertheless just just watch for it and realize the potential for a pullback you know could happen we have been steadily climbing higher for the last couple of months I mean really since October but you know there were some big gyrations but we was the last since the beginning of the year the markets really had a nice run higher so that's just something to be aware of NASDAQ continues to work this I mean it's really strong this is like I, I continue to say complete breakout Dow have it not hasn't reached new highs yet but getting close and that's just something to be aware of uh, some other names or I should say commodities that we're looking at uh, gold I'm gonna come back into the one-year chart gold's having a little bit of resistance up towards uh, 1765 recent swing highs actually it was about back in uh, the beginning of December close to the value area high for the year I still think gold can can go higher zooming in a lot more you can see we're, we're kinda finding some type of potential support around 1720 Tra I was trading it today I've been trading it for the past couple of weeks just due to the fact that the the S&P's during the day have been so slow and, and the volatility just has not been there so I, I've switched over and uh, I still like gold to the long side, but we are in a pullback mode. Silver, same situation. Silver is actually doing uh, better than gold in terms of the recent price action. I, I like the fact that it's just staying in a range. The only thing I see with silver is we're, we're stuck right at this point of control for the year. If we can break through that, let me zoom out so you can see the volume profile. If we can break through this 34 level, then we're going to go test 36 and a half or so, and ultimately we want to see this thing get back up to forty dollars. Dollar, just watch for some type of, of bottoming pattern. Uh, we are at the bottom end of the range. We've had multi-day rest at these levels. Let me pull up the the. Uh, Okay, this uh, this looks like a bottoming pattern, and what what that means is maybe the potential for a market pullback increases in the sorry, and the reason why is because point of control for January at the bottom of the range. So far, we're still in this balance range that we've seen since. Uh, since this point of control has really formed and if we start to poke our heads above 7960 with emphasis we should see some move back towards 80 without a problem really 
80, 40, you can see the levels that, that we would trade to, but what I like is 80, 40, which is the value area over the last 90 days. I would also look for 80, 80, which is the point of control from December, and then ultimately value area high area, 81, 20, 81, 30 or so. Uh, those are potential levels for the dollar. How, however, we want to see the, the dollar longer term. I'm going to bring the daily back up. Start to make some type of, of topping pattern. It's done so. Let me come back to a two-year chart. You can see point of control for the last two years. So what we really want to see is if, if this thing gets going, pushes back up towards 80 half, or so. If we get a rollover, that could be a big, a, a big signal that the dollar's headed back lower, which means risk is is put back on into the market for a longer term time frame. Meaning we could have, you know, a, a nice rally into the summer of this year. With that said, the euro looks like it's trying to form. A bottom however we are at the top end of the range bringing up the uh, 60 minute chart it's a little bit different than the dollar we still have point of control support from January at the bottom end of the range so that si signals to me that there is a floor in the euro and the ceiling is really the top of this high volume area or I should say the bottom from both November and December, this really point of control level, one call it 134, and that's where you're looking for a top in the euro or the potential top of the range. We want to see value area high, firm January hold, and we want to see euro stay in this range and try to make a push higher. However, the likelihood for a pullback is probably pretty high only because the euro, you know, it, it's still in a downtrend. The only important factor we've seen is the fact that we've had a nice rally off of the bottom. So it's going to be important to see if these levels hold. And if they do, then we should see some type of a move higher in the euro. Now going into the names I covered in last night's video, or I should say the weekend video, but unfortunately that video did not work. Um, so I'm j unfortunately these trades, I still think they work, but a lot of them worked a lot today. And I'm, I'm, you know, I apologize for the video problems, but uh, these names, I still think over over the next couple of months, you're going to see higher prices. Riverbed, up 6% today. If you want tomorrow, buy it a very small portion of the position. But support's really down towards 25. So that, that's a, a pretty, that's a decent sized pullback. Not necessarily one that you want to be a part of. Sprint, I mean this one kind of looks like Alpha Natural Resources. Um, it looks like it's going to really see some type of price appreciation. Looking, looking at three dollars, that looks like a, a pretty solid number for in terms of a target. That's a fifty cent move on a two dollar forty six uh, underlying. That's a that's a good move in percentage terms and. That's probably something that you want to be a part of. However, I do think there is potential for a move up towards more 350, which over the course of time, the 200-day moving moving average will reach that level. That's just a, a nice. The 200-day moving average is a nice, uh, basically, target in terms of hey, I, I want to take pr uh, profits near the 200-day. Uh, just because you're buying so far below it, the potential for a move up to it is probably pretty great. Alpha Natural Resource continues its move higher. This is this is breaking out, and we're going to see twenty-five dollars, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty dollars in the near future on Alpha Natural Resources.
the way I'm playing it, long a little bit of underlying, but mostly long uh, some out-of-the-money calls, 25s, may roll them up to 30s once once they really get at the money, but uh, for now, uh, 25 calls, a little bit of the underlying, seems to be working fine, earnings aren't for another month, actually, I, I think they're the end, a, I'll tell you. They are the tw on the 24th before the market opens, so that's just something to be aware of. Uh, another name we're, we're looking at, Long Chesapeake, continues to work. I think this is bottoming. We may be early to this just because it's clearly still in a downtrend, but um, this is going to this is gonna break, and I, we may be seeing that right now, and we may, we may see a push, for example, to the top of the or yeah to the bottom of the value area for the year which is twenty five dollars that's another two dollar and fifty cent move or so but what I'm really looking at is this is a bottom this is a complete retracement back to the lows in 2010 point of control support looking for twenty five dollars on the upside so if you're along this name which I hope you are recently um, it, it's this is gonna work Halliburton, stay long. This is going to slowly rise, and uh, it's a slow mover for now. We're not really moving. However, it's it's going to get going. And with that said, you know, stay long. Apple, uh, this isn't even worth covering. It, this is ridiculous. This is complete. This is an adjustment of everyone's interpretation of Apple. And you can see the earnings after they blew the ball, uh, the, blew the cover off the ball. Apple has continued. People have talked about it like two days after Apple reported earnings, saying, you know, why isn't this stock moving higher? They, you just have to give it an opportunity to work. And it's gone from 363, which is when you know we were covering it back at the 200-day moving average. And it, it's continued to work since, so I, I don't see why it's going to stop until it hits $500. Verizon, don't don't take your eye, eye off Verizon. This is bouncing off the 200 day. It's bouncing off the point of control. This is moving higher. It's probably moving higher than $40.48, which is the 52-week high. And the reason why is look at Celgene. Remember when Celgene had the breakout? Test back, tested sixty dollars, the point of control, two hundred day moving average, move higher. Uh, another one, Monsanto. A little bit different. We had like a, a mini breakout, a, a test, or basically more consolidation, and then they announced earnings. By the way, Monsanto. Keep your stop below these levels. However, I do think into strength you do want to take some profits. In Monsanto, yes, it continues to work, but just to it probably reallocate some money elsewhere, Monsanto looks a bit tired. Cartronics covered this last night too, had a nice bounce today. Uh, Similar to Celgene and other names, bouncing off the point of control, bouncing off the 200-day moving average. It's been right to be buying off the 200-day moving average. This is the third time, and this time, well, I'll go back. The point of control at the time was down here, and it was right to be a buyer. And look at the, you know, if you bought down towards the lows, call it even $21, which is still above where it really bounced but you can see you, you've had, if you've just kind of let it work for you, you've had nice price appreciation. This is going to be another situation where you're probably going to see nice price appreciation. So try to get it lower. This is, st this is in the middle of the channel now. You want to get it towards 25 if you can. But this, this is something that if you aren't long, you probably want to scale into. EMC, taking a pause, not a problem. Ford. This is this is a monster, and it continues to work. Polaris continues to work. Kind of looks like Celgene, Monsanto, 
Oh, let's just pull, put Under Armour up now. Under Armour, it looks like it's breaking out. 200-day moving average, point of control support. This is, I mean, this is going to attempt to move higher. ConocoPhillips starting to catch a bid. Light volume today, which was a little frustrating. Right at the, the point of control for the year. Going to watch these levels, but I, I like this to go back up towards 73 or so. Yahoo, the only name that I picked out this weekend new that didn't really work today. However, I still think you keep your eye on this. If you want to reach out and buy some upside calls with the expectations that they're probably, you know, they may not work, I'd go maybe two or th uh, probably two or three months out, maybe three, midsummer, and look for some calls that make sense. Because, you know, eventually, if you look out towards April or May, call it May. Here's May. And here's our little pattern that we're forming. A little triangle pattern. Higher base. By May, this is going to resolve itself. And if you think it's going higher, basically, if we break above this point of control, this $16 level, if you, you know, it could really get going, and this could push back up towards eighteen, nineteen dollars. It could push up towards seventeen, twenty-five, which is the value area for the year. It, this could have a, a decent move, and I just want you to be aware of, of that opportunity. Mastercard took a breather today. However, the pullback was basically buyers came in. Let me show you the pullback. Uh, opened. Sorry, opened base on the highs traded lower and then some buyers came in on the dip to accumulate it and the last one I do want to cover no not Vernetics this I mean doesn't this look like a little bit like Under Armour and Celgene well Celgene when it was in its beginning stages right around here this is this is a speculative it's just the technical pattern that we're seeing and we've seen huge moves for example from fifteen dollars up to twenty seven from twenty six dollars up to forty from eleven dollars up to twenty two and we're forming a nice base here and I think if you place your stop below these lows around twenty below twenty three or maybe if you really want to want to stretch it below 21 we we could see a nice move up in this and it wouldn't surprise me to see this back up towards 35 40 dollars so that's just something to be aware of and uh, realize that there is opportunity there and I guess I have one more for you Walgreens it's it's finally starting to work so if you aren't long this name I've had a placeholder position actually half of a position in Walgreens, I'll, probably tomorrow I'll start building on it. But um, this looks like it, it's going to try to make a move higher, which is good because I've been waiting for this for a while. Don't take your eye off this; it, it will it will work, and you can enjoy the price appreciation up to thirty seven dollars. That's when you'll reassess. But realize there is no volume from thirty basically where we're trading at now, thirty call it $35, up to really 40 you have your first patch of real volume. Uh, you can see we have a swing high, we have the 200 day moving average, so 37 is going to be a level, but this thing could push up towards 42, and that's a, that's a pretty good move. It's, it's a slow mover, generally speaking, and I'm checking right now what the dividend is on oh it's it's only two point seven percent so it's not that big of a deal but uh this should work so anyways I hope this helps sorry about the weekend video and why it didn't work and I will talk to you tomorrow.